Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel! In this video, we will illustrate the fundamental counting principles. Let us start with the definition of counting principles. The fundamental counting principle is a rule used to count the total number of possible outcomes in a situation. It states that if there are n ways of doing something, and m ways of doing another thing after that, then there are n times m ways to perform both of these actions. Let us start with the addition principle of counting. It states that if we have a ways of doing something and b ways of doing another thing, and we cannot do both at the same time, then there are a plus b ways to use one of the actions. For example, a student is shopping for a new computer. He is deciding among three desktop computers and four laptop computers. What is the total number of computer options? We have three desktops plus four laptops. Therefore, we have seven computer options in total. That is... 3 plus 4. 4 red and green marbles are placed in a bag. How many marbles are there to choose from? We have 4 red marbles plus 6 green marbles. All in all, we have 10 marbles to choose from. The multiplication principle of counting states that if one event can occur in m ways and a second event can occur in n ways, after the first event has been occurred, then the two events can occur in m times n ways. Let's start with this problem. Suppose we are choosing an appetizer, a main dish, and a dessert. If there are two appetizer options, three main dish options, and two dessert options on a fixed price dinner menu, how many different ways can we choose from? We have two appetizers, three main dishes, and two desserts. To get the number of different ways can we choose, we need to multiply two by three by two. And that is equal to 12 ways. Diane packed two skirts, four blouses, and a sweater for her business trip. She will need to choose a skirt and a blouse for each outfit and wear the sweater at the same time. Find the total number of possible outfits. Diane has two skirts, four blouses, and one sweater. Multiplying 2 by 4 by 1, we will get 8 possible outfit combinations Diane can wear. A restaurant offers a breakfast special that includes a breakfast sandwich, a side dish, and a beverage. There are 3 types of breakfast sandwiches, 4 side dish options, and 5 beverage choices. Find the total number of possible breakfast specials. In this problem, we have 3 sandwiches, 4 side dishes, and 5 beverages. To compute for the total number of possible breakfast specials, let us multiply 3 by 4 by 5. All in all, we have 60 possible breakfast combinations. 12 horses enter the race. In how many different ways can the first, second, and third places be decided? On our first box, we have 12 options. Everybody has the chance to be the first place. While on the second place, we only have 11 options. Simply because the one winner on the first place cannot win 
at the second place at the same time. On the third place, we only have 10 options, simply because the first two has won the first and the second place. Therefore, we are going to multiply 12 by 11 by 10, and that is equal to 1,320 ways. How many four-digit number can be formed from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if repetition is allowed? On the first digit, we have five options. Although we have six digits, but take note that 0 cannot be written as the first digit. And if 0 is at the first digit, it is not considered a 4-digit number. We have 6 options on the second digit. That's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 6 options also for the third digit. And 6 digits on the last digit. Therefore, the total number of 4-digit numbers that can be formed is equal to 1080. We get 1080 by multiplying 5 by 6 by 6 and by 6. How many 4-digit number can be formed from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 if repetition is not allowed? We only have 5 options on our first digit simply because 0 is not included and 0 is not an option. On our second digit, we have five options. Although we have six digits to choose from, but the rule is, or there is a restriction, that repetition is not allowed. So, one of the digits are used or is used as the first digit. On our third digit, we have only four options because two, g two digits are used in our first two digits. And lastly, the last digit, we have only three options because three digits are used as the first three digits. Simply by multiplying 5 by 5 by 4 and 3, we will get 300. Therefore, we have 304 digit numbers possible if repetition is not allowed. In how many ways can we select two books from different subjects among seven distinct math books, three distinct science books, and five distinct English books. Let us first identify the number of ways can we select two books using math and science books only. So we have seven books in math and three books in science. So all in all, we have 21 ways in choosing math and science books. For English and Science books, we have 5 by 3, simply because we only have 5 English books and, and 3 Science books. All in all, we have 15 possible options. If we are to choose from Math and English books, we have 7 times 5, because we have 7 Math books and 5 English books. All in all, we have 35 options between math and English books. Since the three sets of selections are disjoint, we may use the addition principle. That means that to compute for the total number of ways to se in selecting two books from different subjects, we need to add all the possible options. So we have 21 plus 15 plus 35, and that is equal to 71 ways of selecting two books. Let us now generalize or summarize what we have discussed in this video. The addition principle of counting states that if we have A ways of doing something and B ways of doing another thing, and we cannot do both at the same time, then there are A plus B ways to choose one of the, of the actions. While 
The multiplication principle of counting states that if one event can occur in n ways and a second event can occur in n ways after the first event has occurred, then the two events can occur in n times n ways. Let us now check your knowledge. Try to solve the following problems on your own. Do not forget to pause this video while you are answering these problems. Let us now check your work. Marie has 5 slacks, 7 blouses, and 8 pairs of shoes. How many different slack blouse shoes outfits can she wear? So we have... 5 times 7 times 8. All in all, Marie has 280 possible outfit combinations. In how many ways can a president, vice president, and a secretary be chosen from a class of 20 boys and 15 girls if the president is a boy and the vice president is a girl? Following the restrictions given in this problem, our first option is 20, the second option is 15, and the third option is 33. That's 35 minus 2, simply because the two students are elected as a president and vice president. And if they are elected, they cannot serve as secretary at the same time. So that is 20 times 15 times 33, which is equal to 9,900 possible ways. Suppose your computer password must contain four characters. It must begin with a letter and may contain digits and letters only. How many different passwords can you create? On our first option, we only have 26 because there are 26 characters in our alphabet. On our second option, we have 36, simply because there are 26 letters and 10 digits. So, all in all, the total is 36. On our third option, we also have 36 options and 36 options on our last digit. Therefore, we will have 1,213,056 possible passwords based on the given restrictions. Thank you for watching Sir Ocnex YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always have fun in learning math. Enjoy learning. Thank you and God bless.